a couple people have asked me to make a, a little video about chipping which there's there's a lot of really good videos about chipping out there but uh, I figured why not because I have noticed that a lot of people have a lot of trouble chipping and what I see as the most common problem in chipping is well number one people don't uh, they don't have realistic expectations they're thinking you know they're gonna be Phil Mickelson and just drain everything when we know that's not the case but their basic problem is they're trying to make a tiny golf swing and if you've ever tried to make a tiny slow golf swing you know how hard it is um, which is why anybody who's a good chipper does not make a tiny golf swing or a tiny slow golf swing um, now you can think of it as in baseball we would call this a bunt uh, there basically is no follow-through I mean you you well okay let's let's talk about this for a second the other thing you have to do is only chip with I think two clubs I use a 60 but most of the time I use a sand wedge and the reason I do that is so that I can get calibrated with those two clubs and I mean my preferred chipping club is the sand wedge and I try to always use that club because I know how hard to hit it and I know how far it's gonna go and with the sand wedge I can pretty much be assured that the ball's going to run out about the same distance that it flew. So if I've got plenty of green to work with, you know, I, I'll use the sand wedge and I'll pop it out there about halfway to the hole and let it run the other half. And of course, you've got to take in consideration the break and all that stuff, just as you would a putt. But um, let's get back to the main problem. I see people who are trying to chip. Oh, right in the sun uh, let me do this a little closer and they're they're trying to they're trying to make this tiny golf swing and of course they never do uh, they catch it thin or they catch it fat because they're trying to flip their hands but the simplest method and like I said before it's just it's a bunt bunt so I'm going to hit that rock. No follow through. <laughs> you, you, you know, get your aim point. Boom. I mean, the club does not turn over. Uh, there's, there's no flipping of the, the club head. It's, and you've got to have your hands forward. Straight back, straight through. Um, basically, you're, you're just bouncing as if you would a, a ping pong paddle. You're bouncing the club or the ball off the club face in a very simple forward motion. Uh, of course, um, there are methods where you would need a uh, follow through, and that's if you're going to flop it. Um, but nobody's going to use a flop shot unless they absolutely have to. It is, it's a low percentage shot. And seriously, unless you absolutely have to, you don't want to use it. But, uh, you know, and that's, you know, you get the club face facing as high up as you can. And without turning the blade over, uh, you have to keep that blade facing the sky and now you've got to slide it basically under the club or under the ball. Um, now, there's something in chipping that a lot of people don't realize also is if you want the ball to run more, you can close the face as, as you're striking the ball. And that'll take backspin off the ball and make it run out further. Whereas you can also open the blade a little more and cut on the inside of the ball and that'll give it more backspin 
uh, I don't really recommend doing that because now you're screwing with the natural distance that that ball or that club goes, but uh, it can be done. So, uh, oh, the other thing is that I wanted to talk about is, is assessing your lie. Um, if the ball's sitting up like this, no problem. But, you know, you've got a ball that's way down in the grass like that, and you think you're going to flop that ball out of there or hit it out softly, you're out of your mind. Uh, there's, there's no way this thing's coming out. I mean, you're lucky to get it out at all. Yeah, I mean, and this is Kikuya grass. So that's, that's something you got to be you got to be aware of is you got to have realistic expectations. I mean, uh, you're never lifting the ball, of course. Um, you're you're just bouncing it. And well, let me let me picture it this way: if there was water on the ground, or let's say this is a swimming pool, and you want to spray that water upward, well, you slam your hand into it at a at a wedge angle. And the ball or the uh, water hits your hand and goes upward. You don't slam your hand into the water, grab the water, and throw it upward. That wouldn't be splashing, which is why in sand they call it a splash. Chipping is probably the part of the game that costs people the most shots and can uh, can really recover. Uh, your shots for you if, if you're not hitting greens which I mean if you can get up and down you know 60 70 percent of the time uh, then that takes a lot of pressure off of actually hitting the green whereas I know a lot of people who if they don't hit the green they are dreading it I mean you know they're 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 oh I'm such a horrible chipper Let's see if I can do another bad chip. Another typically. Oh, yep, yeah, that was a bad one, all right. Bladed it. And you would be surprised at how a tiny little movement moves the ball. Well, I mean, that was, I don't even know how big I swung, but it was tiny. And that ball flew. 20 feet you know I mean these are golf balls and they're designed to be hit by this stupid thing so you got to expect that it's going to work pretty good I mean we got 200 years of of engineering and 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 design behind it right uh okay I think that's it for the chipping video mm -hmm. Unless maybe we go with one this way. I don't want to hit the camera. No. Do you want to hit the camera?